Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. And uh, today in practical class number two. Right. In class number one, we studied how to make something like tobacco vanille. Now today in class two, we are going to learn how to make fougeres. using the same base which we have used earlier right if you remember for uh, the class of tobacco vanille we used we created a cup in which we started filling in the fragrance so we are going to use the same cup we are going to use the same base if you can uh, find the same formula in the description, the same base. If you remember, we used ISOE Super, Hedion, Methyl Ionone, Benzyl Salicylate, a lot of Ethylene Brasilate, Galaxolite. So we are going to use the same particular um, cup, the same base. And we are going to make four different fougeres so this will be something very interesting for us right so anyway like i mentioned the base is uh, the formula of the base is in the description i'm sure you remember what a fougere is fougere is nothing but forest smells smells which you generally find in a forest woody things like lavender geranium these are fougere materials or if you want to translate it to perfumery dihydromercenol coumarin these are fougere materials though it goes into a lot of other fragrances but usually the fougere genre that's what we are talking about right so <clears throat> it's better we name the uh, the particular fragrances so the base is the original like in the description now with the base we will call the fragrances as fougere fougere one fougere two fougere three and fougere four right so we are going to add some materials and start building our fragrance, right? I hope I'm making it uh, uh, clear enough. You will find all the details written in the description. So all mostly we are doing is that instead of using clove oil, black pepper oil, geranium oil, well, I'm sorry, clove oil, black pepper oil, and uh, cinnamon oil, we are just going to fill in some other materials right so in fougere one we are going to use three materials that is coumarin dihydromercenol and hydroxy citronellal with just one oil, which is bergamot oil. So we already have the base, which is 34 grams. We are just going to add some materials like coumarin 1.5 grams, dihydromercenol 3 grams, hydroxycitronellal 6 grams, and bergamot oil 2 grams. right you really need to try this this is going to be very interesting experience for you so the base of 34 grams is already ready we are just going to make fougere fragrance one adding these four materials to our base now fougere number two we are going to
add just one oil which is clary sage we are going to use it two grams so not to repeat it again we are going to use the same base of 34 grams and in fragrance number two of the perfume compound we are adding four materials that is coumarin 1.5 grams clary sage oil 2 grams hydroxycetonilal 6 grams bergamot oil 2 grams right now fragrance number three that is fujar number three all we are going to do is add one more material to fujar number two just add one more material that is dihydro mercenol two grams please pay some attention i'm teaching you things which will take a lot of time for you to learn and to practice and eventually to develop your own style but what i'm trying to teach you is how quickly using a ready-made base how quickly you can make many other versions of a fragrance and in the genre of fujar right so this is the fujar number three fujar number four we are going to use only three materials that is hydroxy citronellal 5 grams clary sage oil 2.5 and bergamot oil 2.5 right if you observe that we are continuously using hydroxycetonellal because that is what is going to give that fougere kind of a um, it's basically a muguet material but that's what it's going to give you that kind of a shine in a way you can say it's a, it's a brilliant material I mean most of the fragrances you'll find in the market is just filled with something like hydroxycetonellal so <clears throat> not to repeat it again but uh, we are going to use the same base which we used in the previous class trying to make tobacco veni and instead of using the spices all we are doing is just changing the fragrance to fit inside that cup or that base so this way you have made four different Fujar fragrances today and all these details are in the description um, and uh, I hope it wasn't confusing enough please check the description I hope it was not confusing enough and uh, uh, maybe a little later I will come up with a new video of some new fragrance till then take very good care of yourself bye bye bye